In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a moving average forecast in Excel. I have monthly data as shown here of the number of houses sold in each month. The data runs from August 2014 all the way to, it doesn't go all the way to January 2023, it goes to December 2021. What we're going to be doing is forecasts all the way to January 2023 using this data. So starting at the top of our data, um, I'm going to be doing a moving average with a span of five. This means that I will be averaging five historical data for every forecast. Thus, for the first few periods, I don't have enough historical data to do a forecast. So for these first five periods, you can see that I don't have five periods worth of data, so I won't do a forecast. But here in January 2015, it's the first month for which I have five previous periods, so this would be where the first moving average with a span of five forecast would be. So here I would take the average of the previous five data points. And in the next period, I would be taking the average of the previous five data points. So this time it would only go to September 2014, as that would be five data points. And so you can see I have a moving average. So you can see with each subsequent cell, as I move down in each one of these forecast cells, my range of data is shifting by one five previous cells in houses sold or our observations. So I can simply drag this through our entire table by double clicking on the bottom right corner or using my mouse to drag it through all the way to January 2022, where I have my um, first period without an observation, our first true forecast where we'd be looking beyond our observations. Now this Forecast for January 2022, the first one without an observation, is going to be my forecast for every period thereafter. So I reference it and I lock in that reference using my dollar signs, hitting F4. And this becomes my, my uh, forecast for every period thereafter. And in this way, I've done my moving average forecast.